Jay Drone here. What's going on, guys? So this is from the DJI Spark. You can see my son down there. He's bouncing a basketball against that building. Uh, I'm flying this for a friend, a uh, friend of the family that was really interested in the drone, and he was happy to hear I had a drone with me and said, well, I kind of want to see it. <laughs> um, showed a lot of interest in the drone. So I'm going to walk you through what I walked him through. So anybody new to the drone world, anybody new to the DJI Spark world, here we go. He asked if the drone can pivot down, if you could pivot the angle of the camera down, and as you can see, bam, Zooka, we can definitely pivot the camera angle down. That'll give you a different shot of what you're looking at from up above. Um, you can look linear just like that, or you can tilt it down just like we just did here. Uh, be aware, if you are flying a drone that does not have GPS and you are coming up out of trees, there is going to be wind that you may have to deal with that the trees was blocking. So here we go. Um, at this juncture, we're going to get it right above the treetops. And I did not have satellites. I did not have full GPS satellites when I was sitting down there. Right now, we're just sitting. The drone is sitting here. And the reason we're not moving it and the drone is sitting here because I'm demonstrating the GPS lock. My hands are off the controller now. My hands are off the controller. I'm showing them the cell phone. We're also looking up at the drone. And the drone's not moving demonstration of GPS lock the spark has excellent GPS lock now we're gonna take it up a little bit higher again just for a scenic view and also to show him that this can go up much higher uh, he did ask me how far can the drone go how far can the drone go myself I said a mile I have for myself that's all all the further that I've taken it or, or I don't even know if I've taken it to a mile I know I've taken it close to close to a mile and I know people in drone days have taken it about two miles. Um, there's some people that have pushed us about two miles. So uh, that's the type of range you're going to see with the spark. Obviously, in this area with me underneath the trees, if I decide to go out a mile, it might not do it because there's a lot of interference. You want to be on a clear plane. You want to have uh, your remote controller almost in direct eye line of sight, if that makes sense to the drone. Um, and that'll give you your best optimal range. We're coming down in between the little hole of the trees, um, and you need to do it with precision because it doesn't always look uh, doesn't always look as large as it might be. So you need to actually really fly line of sight, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm not I'm not focusing on my FPV. Um, and then he had asked me if I was gonna if I'd be able to fly in in this little pavilion here And I definitely could but I didn't really want to bother everybody in here But as you can see I'm drawing a little bit of attention to myself um, And we're just we're just gonna coast out here. I'm gonna put it in there just a little bit not too much um, And there's my wife singing karaoke right there um, And there's my son. He is now sitting there and we're just going to put this in just a little bit for a little look around. But again, I didn't want to go past the other side of the picnic tables just because I didn't want to really interfere with what people were doing. But again, you could see, bam, my son looking at it. You could see heads popping up over there. You could see he's looking at it. It draws a little bit of attention. It makes a little bit of noise. It's not a silent drone, but it's not a really loud drone. And there's my friend right there in the glasses. Fam f f very good friend of the family. And uh, there's some kids of the family right there playing beanbags. And uh, we're going to kind of sit there and wait for it. Wait, bam, saying hello to the drone. So we're going to go ahead and fly over this way then kind of back up and then we will pivot A little beanbag action going on stability of the strong quality of the strong is great obviously if you are just recording by your cell phone and you don't have an SD card in if you have if you're, you're in a high 2.4 gigahertz area um, you may uh, you may encounter a little bit of uh, distortion on your cell phone versus the SD card this is off of the SD card and if you're familiar with my channel I've loaded from my uh, cell phone before sometimes it's crystal clear other times I have an eruption where it's it looks like the cameras adjusting a little bit it looks like uh, it looks like it's not so clear and again people looking at the drone people like drones <laughs> um, but we're gonna go ahead and throw this up through uh, the little canopy of uh, 
of trees here again and then we're going to cut it i end up taking a couple of pictures guys if you haven't subscribed please do if you're interested in flying drones if you're interested in this drone get at me i absolutely love this drone i have two of them if you haven't subscribed to my channel smash that subscribe button and again questions comments concerns down below get at me and uh catch you on the flip side check out drone days link will be down below best face group group for uh drones later